Today is most definitely a celebration. Today, we celebrate love. Love is an intoxicating, curious, and often uncontrollable emotion. Love has been called an art, referred to as a fortunate accident. St. Augustine preached that love is temporary madness. But American author Robert Olga may have put it best, at least when thinking about these two, when he wrote, quote, we are all a little weird. <laughs> Just wait. And, and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them, and we fall in mutual weirdness, and we call it love. <laughs> Kristen and Bobby's mutual weirdness story began, a, began at a faraway land known as Champaign-Urbana in the spring of 2008. You see, both were enrolled in the same graduate class about technology at the University of Illinois. Kristen and her strikingly handsome roommate sat in the <laughs> chatting with one another on their laptops, paying no attention to their surroundings. Little did they know that another graduate student enrolled in the course named Bobby was paying very close attention, not to the instructor, but to Kristen. As Kristen and her roommate left the first day of class, they were followed, eventually, and eventually interrupted by Bobby as he asked about their graduate program, trying to decipher whether or not Kristen was dating her roommate or she might possibly show any interest in him. After Bobby fumbled and stumbled through that initial conversation, Kristen turned to her roommate and said, I don't know why, but I'm really attracted to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and Kristen began chatting both in class and online. After the spring semester ended, they chatted online nearly every day throughout the summer. When classes resumed in the fall, they had their first date, planting the seed for their mutual weirdness to bloom. <laughs> Love. An art, a fortunate accident, the discovery of mutual weirdness. Maybe love is letting your partner sleep with her baby blanket, even if it irritates you a lot. <laughs> Maybe love is randomly surprising your partner with robot trinkets and sweet treats just to put a smile on his face when he's feeling down. Possibly love is carrying your partner's purse anywhere and everywhere because at times your body simply refuses to cooperate with this simple act. Certainly. Love is moving to the Lone Star State. <laughs> I will leave the conclusive definition of love to greater philosophers than I. I do know, however, that love is, if nothing else, deeply personal. When talking about love with Bobby and Kristen, I asked each of them separately to define love using only three words. Bobby responded with the words partnership, home, and silly. <laughs> Kristen responded with the words trust, honor, and play. <laughs> so to you two, I say, let your partnership and your home be rooted in trust and honor, but always be tinged with silly play. Given that love is so deeply personal, Kristen and Bobby have decided to each make a declaration of love in the form of a poem separate from their vows written by the bride and groom. Bobby. So this was actually written before I met Kristen, but I thought it was appropriate. Um, <laughs> but, but you'll understand in a second. <laughs> Good luck. Um, in the misty shallows awaits an unknown glory, mysterious to those who pass, elusive to those who see, until one fateful night, staring into a soft moonlight, I happen to stumble upon it and find all of life's wonders. Oh, if dreams can come true, by and by, I will find you. Kristen. Mine's a little more goofy. <laughs> Mine's called He Said, She Said. He said, we met in a grad school, or we met in grad school in a class. She said, we met in grad school when he chased me down a hallway to talk to me after class. He said, I study robots. She said, I study kids. She said, I love this dog and I want to keep him. He said, he will live with me and he will be ours to love. Aww. He said, I'm moving to Chicago. She said, I will come see you every weekend. She said, ew, that stinks, was that you? <laughs> he said, no, that was the dog. <laughs> he said,
said, I got a job in Dallas. She said, let's start our life there together. But I'm still a Chicago sports fan. Woo! She said, I'm sick and my body hurts all over. He said, I will buy us a, an amazing bed so you will be able to rest and get the sleep you deserve. She said, oh, I see a hawk. He said, there will always be hawks. And she, there was one earlier. She said, I don't believe in myself. He said, I believe in you. He said, I'm unsure. And she said, trust me. He said, I want to be silly with you for the rest of my life. Will you marry me? And she said, yes. He said, I love you. She said, I love you too. <laughs> Kristen and Bobby, you both know what love means to you, and you have been lucky to find that in each other. As your friend, I have been privileged to watch that love grow, and I am honored to be a part of this special day with you as you solidify your love for one another. You stand here today, prepared to enter into a forever union with open eyes and full hearts. The promises you will make to one another are life promises. No other ties more tender than those that you now assume. I welcome you to exchange your vows. I vow to truly listen to what you are saying to me, to communicate clearly about my own needs, to try things your way every once in a while, <laughs> to remember we are a team and to fight for us, to be patient and supportive, and to play every day and make you laugh really, really hard. I also promise to press my raptor claw feet against you on the couch, to take my half of the bed up the middle, <laughs> and to grind my teeth into your ear at night. <laughs> Although I will be imperfect, it is through this imperfection that I am yours and you are mine. I vow to truly listen to what you are saying to me, to communicate clearly about my own needs, to try things your way every once in a while, to remember that we are a team and I will fight for us, be patient and supportive, to play every day, and to make you laugh really, really hard. I promise to collect used toilet paper rolls on the bathroom floor, <laughs> to leave the TV on when I'm not watching it, and to put my cold feet on you at night. <laughs> Although I am imperfect, it is through this imperfection that I am yours, and you are mine. Kristen and Bobby, as you are joined, so are your families united through you. To the Drogas and Greg families, it has been the decision of Bobby and Kristen to pronounce their love in front of their friends and family. A supportive family is a strong foundation for a successful marriage. Kristen and Bobby's lives will be enriched by the support that you give. Will you encourage Bobby and Kristen in this union? Continuously celebrate their commitment to one another. Annoy your new family member as an in-law should. And support the vows witnessed here today. Please respond, we will. We will. The ring is a circle, a perfect figure, without beginning, without end, and with no area of weakness. Your ring symbolized life and togetherness, serving as a physical reminder of the vows made on this special day. The rings you're about to exchange, crafted of gold from the Drogas and Great family heirlooms, will also signify the importance of your families, who just proclaim their continuous encouragement and support of you. May these rings symbolize your love for one another, and for the family who have, you have had in the past, who you have in the present, and who will mold your future. <laughs> <laughs> yes, This ring that I give to you today signifies our love and commitment. Signifies our love and commitment. This ring that I give to you today. This ring that I give to you today. Signifies our love and commitment. Signifies our love and commitment. 
my best friend.